Channel 6 and Park. And listen, our next guest is one of the biggest superstars in NBA history. True story. Let, let's talk about this guy. Ten-time NBA All-Star, right? He has three rings on his hand. Two NBA scoring titles and a two-time MVP in the All-Star game. Y'all know who it is. You already hear the audience going crazy. This All-Star is in one spot and one spot only right now. 106 and Park, show some love for Kobe Bryant. Let's go, Kobe. What's going on? What's going on? Kobe Bryant in the building. Wow. I know, right? This is like a wow. <laughs> Thanks again for coming on the show. First of all, it's the day after Super Bowl. What'd you think of the game? What'd you think of everything? I thought it was an incredible game. You know, I think uh, you know, Elon Manning and the Giants have made big plays when they needed to. I mean, that's what you have to do to win the championship, and they did it. Are you a big football fan? Do you have a favorite team? I'm a big football fan. I'm an Eagles fan. You're wasn't that Eagle good of a fan. year for us this no, year? No, it wasn't. No, it was a down no. year. I heard you're a Cowboys fan, though. So. Die hard all the way. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, we beat y'all, though. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you play any other sports coming up? I played, uh, I played football. I played baseball. Um, but basketball is where you know, I found the true sense of enjoyment. I mean, that's just what I love to do. And I know the audience over here, they were screaming your name. They definitely enjoy watching yeah. you play. <laughs> Everybody oh, does, and, and we gotta congratulate you. This is your your NBA All Star for the tenth consecutive time. That is a huge accomplishment. Thank you. When, yeah. when when you think about where you came from and your road to success, what do you think when you reflect back on your career and your years in the league? You know, I just uh, I've had a great time. I've had a great time. It's been a lot of hard work, but if you love what you do, you truly never work a day in your life. So, and I just enjoy uh, doing what I'm doing, and uh, I've been very fortunate. You know, I've been very blessed to play with so many great players and. Uh, having, you know, 10 All-Star games ain't bad. All right, so Kobe's in the back. Kobe's, Kobe's in the locker room. He's getting ready for the game. He's got his iPod right there. What you listening to to get warmed up? Uh, Jay's always in there. Okay. Kanye's always in there. I'm right, I'm 50 right. Cent's always in there. Outkast. Yeah, I'll mix it up a little bit. That's a good look. Well, what about let's let's mix up your life story right now, right? We have Kobe Bryant in diapers, Kobe Bryant when he first touched the basketball, or Kobe right when he got into the league. If you were to write a book on your life, where would you start? Uh, we can start with the diapers. Well, di the diapers and the basketball go hand in hand because since I was in diapers, I had a basketball, so we can start there. Was it a, what's, wait, I'm, I'm, mad, I'm mad at my mother for not putting the ball next to me, man. Damn. Maybe I would have made some luck. We got some pictures on that. Have you ever thought about writing a book? Seriously? Uh, no, not really. Not really. Never never really crossed my mind. All right. Well, when you think back on your career, does it ever cross your mind the first time you really dunked on somebody real greasy and you tell the story like, you remember that? You might be sitting with Mike or Charles Oakley one day. And you're like, yeah. yeah, but you remember that time? Was yeah. it one of them times for you? I had one of those moments. It was my, my second year in the league. Well, that's when I had the fro, the big nappy fro. Oh, yeah. No doubt. <laughs> and playing against the Washington Wizards in the preseason. Came down the lane. And uh, I was able to tomahawk one over my man Ben Wallace. That kind of oh, set I know the Ben tone. is sitting there like trying to forget that. I set the tone right there. I wasn't mad at that. When you think, when, right before you go onto the uh, onto the court, you got any pregame rituals? Anything you do right before you? Uh, I always say a prayer uh, on the bench, getting ready for the game. I always say a prayer, and uh, you know, then I just try to relax, you know, clear my mind, and go out there and do what I do. And there it goes right there. So look, y'all give it up for Kobe Bryant once again. And. It is so exciting looking at your team. You guys just had a major trade. What do you think about everything going on right now? You, you feel like you got the, the weapons in place? Well, I, you know, we're still a young team, um, but our young players have developed tremendously. You know, Andrew Bynum is developing to a force. Now you got Paul Gasol, who's an all-star player, extremely talented and versatile. So you add him to the mix, and you're looking at a front line of Lamar Odom, Paul Gasol, Andrew Bynum. That's 6'10", 7 feet, 7'1". Seven, so that, that, that's a good look. Some very big guys That's in the paint right, right there. Right. Well, I know y'all looking right now. Y'all like, this is 106 in Park. And yes, it is, because we're getting back into the videos. Here's the number six video. Mario crying out for me. More with Kobe Bryant on the way up. Yeah, we got NBA superstar, 10-time NBA All-Star, and his sneaker are fresher than yours. Kobe <laughs> Bryant is in the house. Yes. When, when you started off your career, you was rocking the number eight jersey. What, what reasons was that number significant to you? Well, it was um, you know, the, that first chapter of my career. I was very fortunate, won three championships, you know. And um, now I felt like that, that chapter's closed. Now it's time to start something new. 
it's time to leave that where it is. Now it's time to begin a new chapter. So uh, I wanted to change number. And I went with 24 because 24 hours in a day. Take it one day at a time, one step at a time. So that's why I selected 24. Right, because a lot of people talking about you might have did that for one yeah, day. I'm, more yeah, day. yeah, I know. No, look, Mike's my guy. Really? Like, and people, I see people on the street, they say, oh, you know, who's better, you or Mike and all this stuff? I say, what are you kidding? You know, Mike is. Because I learned everything from him. Like, he's one of my mentors. I speak to him, and he talks to me about, gives me advice about the game, leadership, and things like that. So I can't. You know, I don't want to be compared with Michael Jordan. Okay. But tell the truth, there has been that one-on-one -on -one tournament that you and Mike have played at somebody's cribs because y'all probably both have your own basketball gyms. Uh-huh. So who, who has the better average right now? No, nah, no. Nah, well, right now, you, know, you don't stay in a shot right now. That, <laughs> that's not, you know what I mean? That's not for yeah. back in the day. I mean, Mike was a monster. Definitely. He was a monster. And in my competitive spirit, I would love to play against him. Mm -hmm. When I first came in the NBA, I had an opportunity to play against them in 96, 97. And, you know, I learned so much just by playing against them, as well as Clyde Drexler and some of the others. Our generation is going to call you that monster. 81 points last year. And we, we haven't been out yet. Give it up for him. You know, what, I know, I know. I know the Raptors are sitting there like, damn, why do you have to go there? But what do you think about when you think of scoring 81 points, man? Uh, you know, it's, it was just one of those things, man. I, I don't know how to explain it. You know, it's just, uh, it just kept going in. You know, I, I, it's just one of those things where you just feel like you throw up a hook shot from half court and the ball goes in. You just got in a really good rhythm and uh, things just happen. Well, something that's not happening is he's not going anywhere. So y'all keep it like Kobe Bryant is here to stay. The number five video is Flo Rider featuring T-Pain Love. Uh, back, Kobe Bryant needs no introduction. No, you know what he does. So, so what's the next big thing for Kobe? What's the next big thing? What we want to do is win a championship. That's that's the key. Well, you have to see Jersey tomorrow before you do that. No I'm, question I'm, about I'm, it. I'm just saying. But good luck on that, though. Thank you. Appreciate Definitely it. Definitely good luck on Thank that. You. But we don't you trying have... to go to the game, Rox? Uh-huh. You trying to go to the game? Asking for tickets. All right. Now, we'll <laughs> <'cause, you know, laughs> I'll talk to him about the tickets. We'll get the tickets popping. You got any personal goals, though? Anything you want to improve on? No, that, you, that is my sell? personal goal, to be honest with you. I think, uh, you know, as a team goes, individuals go as well. So, you know, everybody has to stay focused and be on the same page. And uh, win that championship, then individual accolades will come after that. Thank you so much for coming. We'll be no, supporting we do appreciate you. it. It's always good to have you. Come back anytime. We Thank mean you. That. Right. Yes, you are a great legend. Yeah.